Okay guys, this is Jeff here one more time with a brief update on the uh, Enterprise refit model kit that I've been doing, AMT Ertl 1537 scale. And uh, I've added, uh, actually I've gone around here and remember before on the other video, I just had the lights just kind of tacked down with some uh, electrical tape. Uh, in these spots here just kind of showing where I wanted them to be and I've gone around now and I've glued them all down tacked them down using CA glue <clears throat> so they are now never going anywhere got them all nice and flattened out so that they clear the top part of the saucer which is over there next to my son's little toy train and also what I've done is I've gone around in these little windows uh, inserts here on the inside uh, right around the planetary sensor disc, uh, sensor dome and the spotlights uh, have gone and added those lights, warm whites, you can see one right there. What I've also done is I made little coverings to go over them as well because what I was finding, you know, of course what I'm finding is that even though you have the lights right there at those windows, it's still not just kind of giving you that nice glow window effect and uh, what uh, you can see here on that one and also over here through this, you know, uh, briar patch of wires is you know see little huts made going over them <laughs> huts i said huts um see these little coverings made and here's one right here just kind of uh put together and everything just you know styrofoam pieces put together um so that it goes over and you now what they'll you know what they'll do is uh, um provide more reflective lighting along the bottom as you can see here that's one that has one of them on there and over here on the other side has it and here in the front even though on the camera it's a little bit more washed out you can actually kind of tell a little bit of a difference on it um, like if I look at these from an angle right there you see those from an angle you can still see those lights and I absolutely do love that so I'm gonna go in and get this last one on this model kit and then uh, after that I got a little bit more lighting to do on the top of the uh, saucer and we are done get this puppy together so again this is Jeff here uh, like I said just a quick update showing the progress on it um, not gonna do the progress on the top of the saucer just yet I do have uh, some lights and wiring going on and yes I have started using the magnet wire uh, thank you very much uh, and this video is coming way later than what I've actually recorded it for um, let's give myself just a little bit of a break between um, the uh, current ship that I'm working on which is the kit bash that you guys have already seen way back when uh, and this one that I'm working on right now and the next one so um, but yeah I've gone ahead I have a warm white right here uh, it's a spotlight right up in there and uh, have these lit up in blue because uh, like I said, this is going to be the refit from Star Trek 5 it's the Enterprise A and on the Enterprise A on Star Trek 5 the impulse engines were blue the only Star Trek where they were blue, but they were blue. Except for the motion picture before they changed all the lighting. You know, when the warp grills were purple instead of blue and everything. The impulse engines were actually shown as blue, but Star Trek 5, they're blue. I have them in blue. I love it very much. It looks very, very cool. It's also very, very different. Ne never seen another model kit with them in blue. Um, you know, but I'll have the nab lighting of course on this model nothing's blinking I don't have any type of blinker so well I do but I'm planning on using it for one of the bigger ones so just want to kind of give a mock up and show this ship but that's where I'm at so far um, of course as I always say those of you out there building models keep on building them guys and those of you who are not building but watching grab one and get started very fun so again this is Jeff signing off see you later